Today we are going to talk about what is master details and lookup relationships in Salesforce. Hello and welcome to SaaS Guru's Salesforce success series where we share insights and strategies to help you launch and grow your career in the world of Salesforce. Are you prepared to dive into the essential world of Salesforce relationships? In today's video we'll examine master detail and lookup relationships and help you unlock the true potential of your Salesforce platform. We'll also compare and contrast the key differences between these two types of relationships so you can choose the best one for your needs. So stay tuned till the end as we explore core concepts of Salesforce relationships and learn how they can enhance your data management capabilities. First, let's discuss the master detail relationships in Salesforce. Imagine you have two objects, a parent or a master and a child or a detail. In a master detail relationship, the child object is always tied to the parent object. This link allows you to have a secure and organized data structure with the parent object controlling the behavior and security of its child records. In simple terms, if the parent object ceases to exist, so does the child object. This relationship is perfect for situations where you want to establish a strong mandatory connection between two objects. In this quick demo, we'll see how to create a master detail relationship. We are in SaaS Guru's developer org. Click on setup. In the object manager, we have a custom object named SaaS Guru users. In the child object, go to the fields and relationships. Now click on the new button to create a new relationship. We have to choose the data type. Select master detail relationship. Click on next. Now let's associate it to the master object account. In this example, this is the parent and SAS crew users is the child. Click on next. Enter the label name and click on next button. On this page, click on the next button. Click on the next button on this page as well. In the next step, save it. That's it. We have created a master detail relationship. Now let's check the front end to see how it works. Let's duplicate this tab and see our custom object, SAS crew users. To create an account, click on the new button. Let's give the account name as mentors and click on save. Here you can see SAS Guru users as zero. Let's go ahead and create a child record. Click on new. In the next step, we are required to give a name. Let's name it Nick. Now it needs to be associated with the parent account. It will be mentors in this case. Click on save. The record has been saved. Now, if we delete the master record, the child record automatically gets deleted. Let's see a quick example. Under the new note drop down, click on delete. A pop up appears. Click on delete. You will notice a status message. Account mentors has been deleted. Refresh this page. You can see that the account child record has been deleted because the properties of the child record are controlled by the master record. Next up is the lookup relationships in Salesforce. This relationship is like a more relaxed version of the master detail relationship. While still connecting two objects, a lookup relationship allows the child object to exist independently of the parent object. This means that if the parent object is deleted, the child object can still continue to exist. Lookup relationships are ideal for creating flexible connections between objects where data can be shared but does not require strict dependency. In this demo, we'll see how to create lookup relationship. Click on setup. In the object manager, we have a custom object named SAS Guru users. Click on it. Go to the fields and relationships. Now click on the new button to create a new relationship. Select a master detail relationship. This creates a relationship that links this object to another object. Now click on next. In the next step, let the other related object be contact. Click the next button. We are required to give a name in this step. Click on field name field 
it will automatically populate as per the field label. Now click on the next button. On this page, click on the next button. Click on the next button on this page as well. In the next step, save it. We have successfully created a lookup relationship between a contact and other users that are SAS Guru users. Now let's check the front end. Let's create a new SAS Guru user. Click on new. I'll name it Amit. Account will be mentors. Please note that these master details are mandatory fields denoted by the red asterisk. However, the lookup relationship is not mandatory. Go ahead and click on a new contact. Enter the first name, last name and click on save. Click on the save button here as well to share this record. Earlier in the session, in the master detail relationship, we deleted the main contact and the child record was deleted too. In this instance, let's delete this contact Amit Guru and check whether it's impacting our child object. I'm deleting this one. You'll notice that the contact was deleted. Go to the page and hit refresh. You can see that the contact was deleted and not the main record. Now that we have explored both master detail and lookup relationships, let's dive into some of the key differences between them. And that's it. We have examined Salesforce relationships focusing on the master detail and lookup relationships. Armed with this knowledge, you are now prepared to improve your data management and establish effective connections between your Salesforce objects. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're looking to master Salesforce and become a certified expert, check out SAS Guru's Salesforce Cert Prep programs. With our expert guidance and comprehensive resources, we'll help you ace your Salesforce certification exam and elevate your career to the next level. Click the link in the description to join the SAS Guru family today. I'll see you in the next video.